Now, because you are a creative person, right? And you offer services that people cannot touch. They can only see or sometimes they hear. It's, it's, it's a bit difficult for you to scale up in the, let's say the Nigerian industry, if you're starting up, it's quite difficult. Why? Because in this part, we really don't value that kind of content. Sorry, they undervalue the content, but that's fine. Now, when you're starting off as a creative person, maybe in graphics or video editing, you need to be able to develop the skill of understanding your client. It is very important. Now I'm going to explain for that. For example, a client meets you and the client is like, um, please, I want to design a flyer. Now the client tells you, I'd like the flyer to have three colors, red, white, and blue, or sky blue or something. Then I want font there. I want pictures, black American children, pictures and all of these things and blah, blah, blah. If you don't understand what this client is trying to say, you don't have like a pictorial view of the end product, ask questions. It is very important to ask questions. You ask your clients, do you mean that you want me to use three colors on this flyer? You now say yes. So can I go ahead to add more colors on this flyer? He will not say, no, 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 there's no need, okay. When you say black Ameri black children, do you mean children in Africa, black African children, or black American children? These things are important. You need to understand what your client is talking about before you can start off with that project. It makes the client open up to you and reduces the time for revision. See, that revision time is very stressful. So it will reduce your number of revisions to maybe from five to maybe three. Why? Because you understood what this client was saying before you started this project. So it stood you out and you saved time and money. Bye.